So, whatever happened to? And in this case, whatever happened to? The third Clockwork Night game. Well, actually, in Japan, there were three releases of Clockwork Night. There were Clockwork Night 1, Clockwork Night 2, and Clockwork Night Special Edition, which is basically Clockwork Night 1 and 2 on one disc, which came in a special pack with a calendar and everything. But this Clockwork Night game, which looks more like a Bomberman clone, never did see the light of day. So here we go with a bit of a retro core exclusive. And a big thanks goes out to the person who gave me this copy. Who, of course, I'm not going to mention who it was. So in this very early beta of the game, um, the aim of the game is, it's just to uh, kick your eggs or your bombs at the uh, moving uh, obstacles, such as the uh, bowling pins and um, robots and so on. Once your egg hits the um, enemy, they uh, disappear basically, and that's it. So it's a bit like Bombman, where you used to kick uh, your bombs at the uh, other enemies. Unfortunately, the eggs and uh, bombs in this game don't explode, so... The only way to kill the enemy is by actually uh, booting um, the eggs at them. Of course, you can um, make them drop down a hole, which uh, more likely than not you're going to fall down the hole than the enemy. It's quite easy to see why this game actually never got finished or even uh, considered for release. Uh, basically, it's boring. Um, of course, you know, the game is far, far, far from complete, but um, the AI is absolutely pathetic, and sometimes um, you find yourself just uh, wanting just to switch the game off or to continue playing. I suppose the idea is okay, but um, the levels are just far too cluttered. You know, and it becomes more tedious and more of a chore to actually kill enemies than, uh, than being fun. Which is what games should be. This demo which we've got here only consists of uh, five or six levels, I think. Can't really, well, can't really quite remember these days, but um, there's not much to it. And each of the levels do look basically like this. On the extra screen you do have the ability to choose different areas and different levels, but most of them just crush the game or just go to a static screen. So there's not really that much to see. 